Hi, I'm Merrick Demetta. And I'm Classic Gamer. And welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword 3, The Sleeping Dragon. We're in Nico's apartment, um, at as night. Nico, at night. I'd bought the TV and DVD player some time ago, but had hardly had the chance to use it. I didn't have the time to spend watching TV. Then why is it even an interactable item? You'll find out later. My battered old phone had seen better days. I thought I should check my messages. You have new messages. Bonjour, mademoiselle. I've got a very important word for you. Soffits. Now, when was the last time you checked your soffits? Hmm, I thought so. Well, I am calling from the Stop It Rotting Soffit Company, and I want to tell you about the Socket to em Soffit Offer. A 50% discount on all soffits ordered before the end of the month. Just remember, your soffits say a lot about you. Why not let us stop the rot in your life? Oh, and don't worry about calling us. I'll call you back. Nico, this is your editor. Remember me? Where in hell have you been for the last two days? What's all this nonsense about being arrested? Give me a call as soon as you get this message. Uh, the soffit is the material beneath the eave that connects the far edge of your roof to the exterior wall of your house. Oh, okay. I, I never understood what that word meant. But I really Basically, appreciate the... As, um, as someone who rents an apartment... Soffits are absolutely none of Nico's concern. <laughs> the Fair landlord, enough. the landlord would deal with the soffits, not not Nico. Well, it's a bit like how landlords in the UK are meant to deal with um, asbestos, mm -hmm. and yet some buildings in the UK still have asbestos, Indeed. and yet it's the most I dangerous not the thing. I to read half the books ever. on the shelves. I didn't know why I kept buying them. And you I, you I have barely you ever... any books. How have you not read them? I don't know if you've if you heard about the um, tower in the UK, Grenfell Tower. Did you hear about that in I London? Have not heard about that. Well, it was basically a office block, not an office block, a George had a tower his block. Picture. I um, never could bring myself to throw it away. A tower block of like flats, and it went up in flames. George had it started in a in a. I never could bring myself flat to throw in it midway away. up the building, and those who may not wonder what I mean by flat, flat is basically an apartment. But we call them flats. I was scared um, to look inside for fear of what and I would find. It was badly designed, badly built. I think it had a, I think it had asbestos in the in the walls. In but um, it was just badly. In Canada, at least, flat is um. It's like there's an apartment, like uh, several in a building, but like um, one floor is one apartment. Yeah. Well. It's the same as like an apartment building. You have like all the apartments in like one building. You ha you can have like a, a block of flats that has like maybe fifteen floors with like maybe ten on a floor, for example. Perhaps I should make a call. Um. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. This um, I'll I'll, say, I'll continue after we've done this. Andre Lovino. Hi, Andre. Nico. Where the hell have you been? Prison. I've been trying to reach you for two days. The police arrested me. What? Are you crazy? What happened? They held me in the cells for two days on trumped-up charges and then released me without a word of apology. I just hope the trail hasn't gone cold. What are you going to do now? Kill Look everybody. for more clues, I suppose. So, um, Andre, when it happens, I'm going to get back to the uh, investigation. I think most, most of the families in there were like... Um, like, I think they Perhaps are the, I like, make a call. asylum seekers or refugees or that kind of thing that were in the building. They were mostly, like, families like that. And the block of flats just went up in flames. And it but went, like, straight up. I think it went up like, almost like a chimney. It acted like a chimney. The news desk? Hi, Candice. Is he in? He's in another meeting. He phoned me and left a message on my machine. I'll get him to call you when he's free. And um, bye now. There, uh, there were some deaths in there, unfortunately, so some people died. Um, but it turns out that the uh, people in charge of the building were very—it was very um, badly maintained. 
um, it wasn't fit for purpose. Uh, the government came out and there's all this thing about it. Um, and then they had to like go around and change all the like building regulations because building regulations weren't up to scratch. Because that's how deaths happen in building blocks like that. When you don't have built proper building regulations or when it's built to a very bad standard and the people who own it don't give a damn because they see those who might be living there as not as important as the rest of other people in, in other buildings. Could be worse. These, it could be worse, but these guys are greedy. In, the, in some places in the U.S., um, landlords will set fires intentionally to uh, get rid of tenants who they can't raise the rent on as much. Like, because they've been yeah. there a while. Yeah, well, you can't do that over here. Uh, the only way that okay, a, you can't a... really do it. It's not st actually a legal thing to do, but they do it anyway. Laws have never stopped anyone from doing something. I considered oh, leaving oh. the apartment and decided to visit Vonnen's place. But anyway, Broken Sword Three. <laughs> oh, it's night here too. She asked so many questions. Just wait Odd here, don't don't move in, in like... If Stop you here. ask me, she wasn't really a reporter. She knows you are a witness. <laughs> Not that I want to worry you. You're right. I saw her entering the poor boy's apartment. Then I heard the shots. I don't know how you sleep. And then the brasserie? Uh, you can go around to where they are now. They're down where that other lady was sweeping the floor. That's basically where they are. Shh! That's her! It's the other way. Come towards the... Come... You know why? What, what a better way to do this would be? It's down that. Fixed so I, camera, I was... two dimensions, click where you want to go, like this fucking genre is supposed to be. <laughs> the old woman looked like she could stand around all day. She reminded me of an aunt of mine. She wasn't a pleasant woman. Bonjour. <gasps> Bonjour, mademoiselle. I thought you'd been arrested. They released me. I didn't kill him. You made a mistake, Edith. Oh, I don't think so. About the woman you saw. I'm looking at her right now. Are there any details you can remember that might help? I told the police everything. Why should I tell you? Because she tried to frame me for murder. Ha! What do you take me for? A character in some kind of detective story. She's had a nasty shock. She's not the only one. She did tell me something. Something she overheard Vernon say. Go on. It could be important. He said the... The power was building up. And he mentioned a manuscript. I don't know if that helps. It might. Thanks. Now, if this was the U.S. Hello. Bonjour. My friend's very oh, upset. I didn't She's mean to upset. talk to her. I was the one who was nearly killed. The controls confuse me because WASD should be moved, not the other way around. But if this is the U.S. and someone's going around telling people that you're a murderer. You can sue that bitch. That's li that is fucking uh, slander. She's committing slander against us, so we should sue her. It was the door to Vernon Blier's apartment building. Let's sue her now. We'll call George. He's a lawyer. Yeah. True. Sue this bitch. I couldn't hear anything. It was the door to a neighbor's apartment. The door was locked. It was Vernon's front door. The apartment was silent. No shit, he's dead. 
The door was securely locked. Do we go back into this way? I don't believe so. Right. Do we have to no, go in? No, you can't. At all? All right. Yes, we do. So you have to go in through where you went, where you came out before. Oh, Jesus! All right. So through the, the window um, kitchen is now door. locked tight. Oh, that answers your question then. So where's the woman so we can sue her? She's gone. You don't see her again. Well, I need her address. It's to opposite we, Burns. We need to subpoena her. Yeah, opposite Burns. Oh yeah, good point. Because I do plan. You know I, I do plan to litigate. <laughs> Check your inventory for a second. Okay, it's fine. Just wanted to check so we had some items. That was all. Do we have the items we, we need? Yes. I don't want. I don't need you to climb up there and then I suddenly say, oh, "By the way, we need this item and it's down there." No, it's fine. Just another locked door. Climb up again. One more time. If you can get past the fucking ladder. <laughs> Why are the lights on? I don't know. The door was locked. There wasn't enough of a gap to fit the card through. Try looking at the door. The police had done a very good job sealing the crime scene. The flat had been securely locked up. I could see the key in the keyhole inside the door. Ah, okay. So, what do we do when it's not that kind of, um... We have to put, uh, obviously, I, a paper through the pot. I know what to do, I know what to do. I had to find out why Vernon wanted to see me. <laughs> and why he was killed before he got the chance. By the paper This the was door. an old trick, but it might just work. Pound the door. The door was locked. Nope. Not pound the door? Use, use a pencil. That's impossible, but okay. Trust me. Let's see whether those old TV shows were accurate. Hey, Aha! Go. She fucked up, though. Why? Well, she slid the paper too far under the door. Oh. We're supposed to pull it back out. There's nothing to grab onto. <laughs> Realistically, what? we can't get in. I, I, I know, but this is not realism. Is, I know, a, but I'm just game. saying that she slid the paper too far under the door, and now the, key, the key's not in the lock. Cool, it's on the paper, but now she can't get it. Gently does it. It worked. The key landed neatly on the paper. I couldn't open the door until I'd unlocked it. Oh, well done, Nico. Sorry, I thought you could use some lateral thinking and know what I meant when I told you it to open the, the door. The key you fucking have. Apartment. <laughs> the lock opened with a satisfying click. Oh, if anyone sees you breaking back into the apartment of the guy that you yeah, you're going, of murdering, that's you're going look directly. You're not even going to prison, Nico. You're going directly to hell. How many plates does that fucking guy want? Probably enough to not have to do the dishes until he can guilt someone. Don't listen to it again because it'll be the board. same three messages. I don't think there's anything anything new. I could have hit buttons at random, but getting the combination that way would have taken weeks. We don't even know how many how many digits it is. The code. What the fuck? This is a picture of an apple. I've never seen that the before. The picture was a pleasant touch. Another Steve Jobs original. I had a pretty good idea who was going to be behind the door. So should we leave her to her grief, or should we intrude and be a bit of a bother? Um, you can go in if you want. <laughs> you went straight out again. <laughs> Ah, that sweet, sweet sound. 
The door led to the bedroom. The poor thing looked as though she'd been crying for days. It's gonna ransack the room around you if that's okay. The wardrobe was stuffed with unwashed clothes. Disgusting. Cold Singapore noodle with tea bag. Gross. <laughs> uh. Excuse me, Beatrice. Why have you come here? Didn't the police arrest you? They released me. I didn't kill Vernon, but I saw the woman who did. And now I'm what here to do kill you. What do you want with me? I want to help. Go away! No. I thought about it, but decided against it. I had no reason to do that. No way was I doing that. Okay, so... Oh, get this thing. The window was unlocked. Oh, that's a window. Okay, go back up Whoever to the did the dusting first. here never got round to the TV. Where do you want me to go, did you say? The kitchen. We could have done this before and then come in to see Beatrice, but... I wanted to do that bit of dialogue so we didn't miss anything. Oh, we haven't saved it in a while, but it might be a good idea. <laughs> we, we can't... I don't think... There's no way we... I don't think we can die or anything, but just to be safe. So I'm assuming in this world this dude worked in the Broken Sword games themselves? I don't know. Because he has the poster. The computer was badly damaged. Right, there should be... Something in here that we need. There we go. A box of tissues stood on the counter. A girl should never be without a tissue. Well, how about a grease-stained one from the sewers of Paris? The trash no. can contained no clues. Right, now go back in and talk to Beatrice again. And give her the tissue? Yep. Something as simple as that allows you to talk to her. My cat is snoring on the bed. Oh, cute. I know. Excuse me, Beatrice. Go away! I actually give her the tissue. There we Here. go. I understand if you don't want to talk. <laughs> Thanks. What happened with her head there? That's the head just kind of something twitched. video game characters do. In uh, okay. Bully sometimes, when Jimmy goes into a class, he'll just spin 360 degrees while sitting on the chair. Like, really quickly. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just weird gaming. It's, it's weird it's, rigging it's issues. It's fucking weird as hell. Can I ask you about Vernon? He was very anxious to meet you. What did he want to talk to me about? Do you know? Not the details. He was acting... So strangely. Go on. He said his life was in danger. Wouldn't let me come up to the flat. We had to meet in the gardens. Why was he so scared? It was those people. Who? I don't know. They paid Vernon to crack some old manuscript. I don't know why it was such a big deal. Anyone can see the manuscript on the internet. So did he crack it? Of course. Vernon's the best. He was the best. <laughs> so what happened then? They told him to keep quiet. Threatened him. That was six months ago. So he risked his life to speak to me. But why now? He said it was all coming true. What was? He wouldn't tell me. The stuff in the manuscript, I suppose. He is proper snoring. 
Do you know oh. anything about Vernon's safe? Only that he's got one somewhere. You don't know the combination? No. It would have to be easy to remember, though. Vernon had a terrible memory. Really? I used to laugh because he was always asking me my birthday. Go on. What's your birthday again, babe? He'd say. 23rd of October. Same every year, I tell him. <laughs> Oh, I'll leave you alone now. No! Wait! What about that woman? What if she comes back? Don't worry. She won't. What are you going to do? I'm going to find her and get to the bottom of this. My birthday is in the Thanks for your help. Mine. Goodbye. Oh, nice. If you think of anything, or just need to talk, I'm at 361 Rue Jarry. Thanks. I appreciate it. This is the first now, time I've ever played an adventure game that has a password or a combination that's not conspicuously written on a piece of paper tacked up or hidden somewhere else in the apartment. <laughs> on, on, this is the first time that I went a different approach. Piecing together the information from Beatrice, I figured that her birth date was the combination I needed. Et voila! There were only two things inside. A hand-drawn diagram and a DVD disc. Oh, I see. Indeed. No way was I doing that. Vernon claimed the diagram had some importance. The DVD disc didn't have a label. I didn't care who it was for. A reporter has to get her leads where she can. I just needed a DVD player to view it on. Oh, what do we have back in our apartment? There was no reason to try that. Oh, Most my people, God. I have one. I know. So do I. Well, I have more than one. I think. Yes, I do. I have an Xbox Series S and I have a PS5. I just have a DVD player. <laughs> I... I also have a lot of uh, DV, uh, movies on DVD. Someone's like, "Oh, why can't? Why don't you just watch them on Netflix?" I'm like, "All right, no uh, let's watch. Uh, you have Netflix, right? Yeah, let's watch The Shining. All right, cool." They took The Shining I off had Netflix. The DVD, and now I needed to take a look like, at cool. its contents. No one can take my Going DVD back away. To my place was the best option. What the? Oh, this is a bit we have to jump out of the way. Be quick. What button? Um, that, that, that one. one. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Is it always oh going to be the same, uh, the same key? That was the sports car I was looking I... for earlier. Potentially. I'm sure you see the traffic warden somewhere around again. She's not here. Do we see her this air this time or later? I I don't know. It might be a different place we see her. Maybe it's late we see her. I can't. I'm sure we come back and see her again. I considered leaving the area. And decided to visit my apartment. I like that it's a, it's a screenshot from Broken Sword 1. Yeah. Save it again. So um, I think it could be the same button each time. I'm not 100% sure. My hands trembled as I slid the disc into the slot. What was so important that it got Vernon killed? It's Half-Life 3. If you are watching this mouse, then... Well... I wish. You know what's happened. The whole world is in danger, Beatrice. The manuscript those people paid me to decode had a secret. A, a deadly secret. Though I didn't know it at the time. Do you know all those earthquakes and the crazy weather I've been going on about? They were predicted in the manuscript. Turns out it's quite famous. Called the Voynich Manuscript. People have been trying to crack it for years, and I beat them to it. Me, Vernon Blier. I haven't decoded everything, but what I've seen is enough. It talks of a power so great, 
It could destroy the whole of mankind. It flows continually around the earth along routes known as ley lines. The Chinese call them dragon lines. You know, an ancient civilization even learned how to use this energy and it brought them great power. Atlantis? They became greedy. They lost control. The power surged. It almost destroyed the world. Beatrice, the people who paid me want to harness this power. And if they do, it is the end of the world. For real! You'll find a diagram with this. It's important, but I haven't worked out why. Yet, two things I know are very important. Something called the Key of Solomon. Oh, and the strange shit. phrase, devils and witches dance with cows on the Sabbath. The more I work on the manuscript, the, the more confused I become. And the more I fear for my life. Whatever happens, Mouse, I love you. I'd wanted a big story. Now it looked as though I'd found one. But what did it all mean? I was going to need help. Help from George Andre Labana. Perhaps I should make a call. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. So is Andre basically just your your hint system? Andre Lobino? I think Hi, so, Andre. yeah. It's good to hear from you. I do worry about you, you know. Oh, Andre, you are sweet. I've got yep. a serious problem, Andre. I really need your help. Tell me about it and I'll see what I can do. The guy who died? The one you went to interview? That's him. He left me a message recorded onto a disc. No, How he left his dramatic. girlfriend. A voice from beyond the grave. This is serious, Andre. In his message, he says he managed to decipher something called the Voynich Manuscript. Hmm. Also, do you know anything about the Key of Solomon? I need to see this for myself. I'll see you at your place. All right, so that's some... Oh, that's a lot of progress then. Yep. Whatever happens, Mouse, I love you. If even one-tenth of that is true... We have to assume it is, Andre. Let's summarize what he's told us. Something called the Voynich Manuscript suggests that an ancient civilization used a power that ran through the Earth itself. And someone is trying to use that power today, possibly in the process causing earthquakes. That strange diagram and something called the Key of Solomon has, as yet unknown, significance. I have no idea what the diagram is, but I know about the Key of Solomon. What does it unlock? It's a fabled book that holds the wisdom of Solomon. What else was there? Devils and witches dancing with cows on the Sabbath. Devils and witches were reputed to have danced on the Ile Saint-Louis. Part of that island used to be called Ile aux Vaches. Cow Island. There's a significant connection to the Ile Saint-Louis. If we could only pinpoint it more closely. My battered old phone had seen better days. Andre is a dear old friend. He's always been very supportive. What could it mean, Andre? We're going to have to be methodical about this. You say the Key of Solomon is a book? Yes. There are even ancient Hebrew manuscripts that are claimed to be the real thing. But genuine scholars doubt their authenticity. Perhaps the real thing contains further information on this. What's the significance of the Ile Saint-Louis? I have no idea. Perhaps we need a connection to another piece of information. Do you think there is a theatrical link to the island? You need to do some research. I know just the place to phone. What do you think that pattern represents? It looks a bit like a spider. Andre, this is serious. Do you think it could have anything to do with the lines of energy he mentioned? Maybe this is where the power lines meet up. Brilliant! That's it! But how does that help us? But she knows I'll a place to call, so... 
Perhaps yes. I should make a call. I think you do as well. Better check in with my paper. News desk? I need you to help me. That's what I'm here for? You're a resting actress, so you might know this. Is there a theatrical connection to the Ile Saint Louis? There's an old theater on the island. I knew some people who were trying to get it reopened a few years back. But it's been condemned for the last five years. Does it have a name? Leoglyph. Thanks. I owe you one. Bye now. So is that a lead? Yep. What could it mean, Andre? We're going to have to be methodical about this. Andre, do you know anything about a theater called Leoglyph? On the Ile Saint-Louis? Yes. No. I'm going to have to investigate then. By the way, you wanna... uh, Leoglyph, French for hieroglyph, as in hieroglyphics is in the ancient Egyptian writing. Oh. Right, now try and leave the apartment. That's what we've got to do next. Try and leave the apartment? Yep. I'm curious how we managed to take a picture of a 3D character and have it be in 2D. What, her or...? George. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, uh, that was in the before times when we only had one a single plane of movement. I considered <laughs> leaving my apartment. Andre, I'm going to hunt down some more clues. It's a bit late to go poking around an old theater. I'll be fine. Typical. Yeah, it was a news guy I wanted to call us, I'm assuming. Hello? Remember me? Your boss? Ah. Where the hell have you been? In jail. How come you didn't bail me out? You're a bit low on resources right now, Nico. Which is why I have a new assignment for you. I'm still working on the dead hacker story. That's old news. I want you to... I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Drop the case. No! Someone framed me. You don't get to choose, Nico. That's not the deal. In that case, I quit. You know, I feel better for that. There's just the question of how you'll pay the bills and eat. Something will come up. You sound like your friend, Georges. <laughs> what the hell is this walk cycle? I know. Presenting André Labineau from the Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> the theater looked as if it had been abandoned for years. I wondered if it was really the right place. I was going to have to get inside to find out. Let's go talk to Eric, I guess. The door was in a terrible state, but the lock was brand new. Someone was obviously still using this place. Uh, Eric is the Phantom of the Opera, by the way. Oh, fair I enough. I peered through the window, but the place was too dark. The door was locked. I couldn't force it. Okay, so you want to go along? You want to go along the side of the building okay. to your right, all the way along. Camera should change in a minute. Go all the way to the alley on the left. You see that alley. You can't go at any of these doors, but you can try the them all if you want to. The door well made. <laughs> it's just the door. The door may have been too thick, but I couldn't hear anything. I love how she quits her job when she's three months behind on the rent. Yes. It's behavior like that that uh, is, is why they weren't giving you better assignments, Nico. Because you're not reliable. Exactly. Hello. What it was. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> it was the red jaguar that had nearly run me over. The killer clearly had the connection to the theater. It looked like I was on the right track after all. I could see the mask the traffic warden had described. I was in the right place all right. Hm. The door was locked. I had no way of opening it, short of throwing a brick through the window. Do we have a brick in our inventory? Not no. this okay. time. Oh. 
We don't. All right, if you come towards the screen. I can't look around the back, fair enough. No. All right, so you see the um, scaffolding next to you? Yeah. It's back on your right. You need to climb all the way up to the uh, top. Fun. I think it's. I think you want to go up to the top first, or is it the bottom bit first? You, you'll see what I mean in a minute. So it's, yeah, that's it. If you come out towards us, you should be able to climb up near the edge. Except where the, where the obviously where the mesh cage is. There we go. Now she gets to do some platforming. Yes. Well, she already technically did try getting into the apartment. Do I need want to jump across? Yeah, yeah. Nico, you are not wearing the right shoes for this. No, you're right. You are wearing <laughs> heels. That was a mistake. I think this is the wrong way to go. No, there's, there's a bit right above you. Oh, yeah, there you okay. go. So, so there is. Da -da 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 you, you see that thing above you? Yeah, that, that, that's a sign that we have to get up to. Oh, okay, cool. So you see it right above our head. So you want to pull that box. My favorite thing to do. In any other game except this one. Can't climb up there. You need to push it all the way back to the. That's it. No other way. Back to the left. You can't push it anymore. <laughs> Even though technically. Fucking reason. Alright, that's enough. Now you climb up and jump up there. Nico. Nico. <laughs> it was an advertising billboard. It looked long enough to reach across to the other side of the alley. And that was where I had to go. Nico, there have got to be easier and more sensible ways to do this. The base of the billboard was attached by metal clips. <laughs> I had loosened the clips, but the billboard didn't budge. Okay. Back down. That wouldn't work here. Down. Go back the way. Go back the way you came. The way you jumped up here. Or the way you came up here. Go back the way you came. So go down this bit and then go back down there and then climb back down. That's it. And then jump back across that gap. And then run all the way to the end. And round the corner. And up there, behind you. That's it. I see I don't mind platforming. Just not in a broken sword game. <laughs> yeah, it's the wrong it's the wrong genre for this kind of thing. It is, but um I mean this it doesn't make it too unbearable in this for me I don't think I think there are worse games it could do it in yeah it's, it's, a, it's a long way round it's a long way to temporary it's a long way to come home Goodbye, Piccadilly, farewell, well, Leicester Square. Square. It's a long, yep. long way to Tipperary, but my heart's right there. You want to go all the way, you want to go up to the top bit. Uh, right. So, up that bit, yep. So, I can't remember if you, could, if you didn't want to do the top bit first of this billboard, or the bottom bit. 
I don't. I don't think it. Think it matters. It was a gamble, but my options were limited. Okay, it won't, it won't fall down, so don't worry. No, you have to climb all the way back down. Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. We should have gone to the top bit first. Yeah. I was trying to remember right? if it, I couldn't remember. I know you have to do you have to loosen one bit first and then, and then loosen the other bit, but I couldn't remember what bit you had to loosen first. I thought, well, we'll go down to the bottom bit and then we'll work, and I'll go from there. But I don't think it matters. Yeah, I find this climbing of this particular scaffolding a bit um, frustrating because um, it's a pain in the ass of what it is. Yeah, it is. But at least when you go back down, you can just walk across it. Something tells me she does she does this copper thing quite a lot. <laughs> like she's not refusing, it's like, no, I'm not doing that. Who do you think I am? Kind of thing. <laughs> I was risking death with every step, but so what? I felt like I was under a death sentence already. So much for entering quietly, Nico. <laughs> God! That was close. I was trapped on the theater side with no way back. There's no way to go down, so you have to climb up. All the way to your right. Left, sorry. No, other way. My bad. I'm just exploring. Okay. Dun 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 it took me a few seconds to realize you were humming Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> it was a door onto the roof. Have you heard of the um of a band called I Nightwish? Hear anything yes, through the course. door. I love them. They're my favourite band. Over the hills and far away For ten long years he'll count the days They did a cover of Phantom of the Opera fairly recently, didn't they? Yeah, they did with their new, with their new singer, uh, Floor Jasmine, but they had to uh, choose a male that was um, obviously had done the duet with her before. But the last time they did that song was back in 2005 with Tanja. You know, be they a, had not done that. You know, even would, though, what? You know, would be a great um, duet partner for that song. Who? Either Alice Cooper or Rob Zombie. Yeah. I had a feeling saving might be a good idea. The door looked well made. All was quiet. No, it wasn't. I can hear that, Nico. I think it's just maybe noise I'd put in for effect. Oh, okay. Ticket booth? Yes, it is.
there was somebody coming. I had to hide. The popcorn stand was my only option. I shall miss Paris, my dear. It has been charming, has it not? I shall never forget it. But the city is becoming unstable. You know who that is behind them? And we have no need of this space. It can't be flap. When will we leave? It so is flap. Oh, my plans good. Are working out. <laughs> It seems that we have a visitor. Is this the right place for the out. audition? You again! Aha, so this is the girl. Petra, my dear, you must introduce us. Nico Collard? Senor Suzaro. We have never met, and yet our lives have crossed. For the worst. In your case, that will certainly be true. Flap! Yes, buff. So, Bruno and I came to Paris. Oh, I'm, I am so impressed how Paris close since, you are to his actual well, voice. since the last time. Thank you. I was on the trail of Cesaro and the dragon power. We waited till it got dark. Then Bruno led me through the back streets to the place he suspected. I waited while he checked the readings on his mysterious device. It's called a PKE meter, George. He's a ghostbuster, obviously. That this is the place. Behind that wall? Are you sure? My machine tells me it is there and I have no reason to doubt it. Okay. Well, let's get inside and take a look. No! I am not going in there. I said I would bring you here and that is what I have done. I am not going in there. Bruno, you're just being paranoid. No, it is only paranoia when they are not out to get you. Okay, Bruno, you stay here. Bruno was really jittery, but I guess he had a right to be. And these little streets were enough to make anyone nervous. Bruno, are you sure this is the place? Yes, here is the place the machine is indicating. Well, if the machine said it was so, I wasn't going to argue. You really don't look too good. You're not so hot on social skills, hey? Not so much. What no. I meant was, are you okay? I am fine. You just take care of yourself. How reliable is that machine? I mean, how many of these Earth power sites have you found with it? You understand nothing. It's not about understanding. It's about believing. Hey, that machine sure is a piece of work. Homes in on ancient dust, huh? You are quite a witty man, I think, Mr. Storbath. No. <laughs> you know, I like to keep things cheery. <laughs> I find it very tiresome. Please desist. Fair enough. Sure. Uh, by the way, this place doesn't look right to me. But the readings are very strong. Maybe you missed something. Yes, and of course. About all the time we have for now. Um, I kind of want to make this investigation. I don't want to just cut the investigation off midway for obvious reasons. So I've been Merrick Tomato. And I've been Classic Gamer. And we'll see you next time for more Broken Sword 3, The Sleeping Dragon. Yes, indeed. This Taking is a great the point place and to stop click. Taking the pointing and clicking out of point and click adventure games. Yes. Ciao. In only revolution software style. Anyway, ciao. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. This has been played, edited, and recorded by me, Merrick D'Amato. And he's been helped by me, Classic Gamer. You can find a link to Classic's YouTube channel, Classic's Gamer, and his Twitch in the description below. Please like, comment, and subscribe.